What's up guys? Back again here with another, uh, all, I guess, all turbo pickups video. Uh, it's been a while, but I've been pretty busy and pretty active, and I uh, was able to actually score some really, really nice stuff to show you guys today. Um, there's some, uh, some pretty rare items, some duplicates here, and um, some promotional items that I ran across as well. Uh, so let's get started here. So um, first off, I did pick up a copy, another copy, my third copy of Beyond Shadowgate. Uh, this was uh, going to be for a dude that uh, needed it, but I think he kind of backed out, so not sure yet. But if anyone out there needs a copy of Beyond Shadowgate, I do have one for trade. Now, this one is uh, normally a double disc uh, game, uh, but this one doesn't come in the double disc, so it's basically just missing the, the, the cover for the, the second part. But it has the manual, back insert, CD's in good shape, uh, definitely a player's copy. Um, but yeah, so this is for trade if anyone out there is looking for Beyond Shadowgate. Uh, I picked this up for a really, really good price uh, off of a connection that I have. Also picked up Dragon Slayer uh, for a friend of mine, and uh, uh, he uh, already received it and is going to enjoy it on his time off of school. But uh, yeah, so this is available and back on for trade. Um, let's have a look and see an item that I've wanted for a long, long time. I did want it boxed, you know, but uh, the price popped up uh, pretty cheap and I could not pass it up. And it was off a local uh, Facebook group um, gentleman and uh, I was able to finally pick up a PC Engine shuttle. Um, it's actually a lot like flatter than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bulkier. It's pretty wide though. Uh, it has the uh, protector in the back. came with the controller, as you can see here and uh, still has the lid and everything on it, which is pretty cool. Some of them are missing the lid. It's in pretty nice shape. Tested it out and everything works perfect. So finally have that in the collection. It's pretty awesome. And the controller's pretty neat too, actually. It has a kind of Genesis-y type, uh, you know, curving here. And uh, kind of wish this would have been the um, controller that Turbo Graphics should have came with. A little more modern, maybe a third button would have been kind of cool. But um, yeah, so. Definitely uh, is a lot more comfy playing with this uh, um, when you're playing some of the shooters and stuff and uh, it just fits a lot nicer in the hand, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I was on eBay in the middle of the night. Um, I was bored and not doing anything, happened to be on there and a Buy It Now popped up. Uh, it was 89 bucks, and I happened to have a 10 bucks of uh, you know eBay bucks or whatever. And uh, I saw this pop up. It was a Turbo Booster Plus with a TurboGrafx-16. Um, also came with R-Type, um, which actually I traded away at uh, the Classic Gaming Expo. So, but yeah, it was a Turbo Booster Plus with a, an extra Turbo Graphics. So this is up for trade as well since I already have a Turbo Booster Plus. So if anyone out there needs a Turbo Booster Plus and a Turbo Graphics, this is up for trade. And uh, this came with uh, three controllers and a uh, and a Turbo Turbo Tap. So um, if anyone out there needs controllers as well, now I have a ton of them. <laughs> So those are up for trade as well. Uh, with the shuttle came a couple of games that the fellow threw in. Got the Japanese Dragon Spirit. Uh, got the, another copy of this. Uh, I forgot the name of this. It's a Namco horse racing game. It's actually kind of cool. And uh, I forgot which one this is, but it's another Namco game. It has a little girl in the front. I forgot what the name of this one was, but uh, these came with the shuttle, so that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing I picked up too is I was able to pick up a pretty cool Turbo Zone Direct. Godzilla poster. It was actually a flyer promoting a, a sale at TurboZone Direct. As you can see here, uh, they had a bunch of you know advertisements for games that were uh, out, and you were able to order. Um, looks like here you're promoting the upgrades and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, yeah, on the other side, it is a basically a poster for Godzilla promoting the game, which is kind of neat. So probably frame this up, maybe put it on the wall. And, um, yeah, another cool collector piece to have, I guess. I uh, finally picked up a, um, a box for my Magical Dinosaur Tour. Uh, this was only, I believe, like six or seven bucks on eBay. I buy it now. And I was also able to pick up uh, another, uh, from the same seller, uh, a box for Legendary Axe, which I traded away to a friend of mine as well. So that was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so a buddy of mine was at a swap meet, and he ended up picking up this beast. And we did a trade, and I was able to get this for basically about 60 bucks, I guess you could sort of say. It's an item I've always wanted, 
and uh, all I need now are the uh, packs for it. And let me see if I can pick this thing up. It's super, super heavy, and that is the Laser Active. Uh, I tested it out. Works perfect. Um, plays uh, laser discs, of course, and uh, also plays Turbo Graphics and Sega CD games as well. If you have the packs for them, packs plug in here. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any packs, but it was kind of cool that it came with the cover. Sometimes this is missing. Could also play Larry uh, karaoke discs on here as well. So. If anyone out there has a Sega pack or a Turbo pack or even a PC Engine pack, uh, let me know. I'm definitely interested so we can get this beast going. But man, this thing is humongous. So to try to find a space for this thing, I'm going to have to move some stuff around. So, But still pretty awesome to get this. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was uh, at a local swap meet. And um, yeah, six, my friend picked it up for 60 bucks and uh, passed on the savings to me. So now a Laser Active is in the family here. And uh, last but not least, uh, there's a cool guy that I met. And uh, he's a, also an old time turbo collector. And uh, he had some stuff, he was moving and uh, he reached out to me and I definitely had to jump on this stuff here. Uh, this stuff is pretty hard to find and I got them for like pretty, pretty good prices. I'm pretty happy that, uh, that I was able to pick these up. First off is a uh, Turbo Duo uh, promotional jacket. It's probably a jacket they might've worn like at CES or some kind of game, you know, or maybe like employees maybe wear it in a store promoting the Turbo Duo. But it has a Zonk in the front with the Duo logo. And in the back you get the, uh, the TTI Turbo Technologies logo back there. And uh, yeah, it's in overall decent shape. Um, it's supposed to be a white jacket. It has a little bit of yellowing, but uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty badass. Um, look at that. It's pretty cool. I dig it. And I was able to get that for a really, really good price. And then these other three items I was able to pick up from him as well. He had some, came back at me later saying he was going to get move a few more items. Um, and let me show these to you. These are uh, Turbo Graphics t-shirts, official t-shirts. This is the one that they made for uh, Splatter House. And in the back you get the Turbo Graphics 16 logo, which is pretty cool. The next one is the one for Alien Crush which is pretty freaking awesome. And in the back you get similar Turbo Graphics 16 logo. And uh, these are new. They still have that very, that, that silk screen smell um, on them. So they were just stored away for a long, long time. And last but not least, we got the uh, Bonks Adventure one, or Bonk one. This one says uh, Bonk, Bonks, Bad Guys. It's pretty cool. And in the back you also get the same Turbo Graphics 16 logo. And for those who don't know, um, there also was a Turbo Graphics kind of like a competition. Uh, and there was a shirt for that too. I think it was called a Turbo Challenge. He had that shirt as well. I unfortunately replied a little too late and uh, that one ended up selling to somebody else. Uh, that's one I really, really wanted badly, but um, we'll maybe stumble across that one later. But he had like a lot of really cool items like mugs and um, uh, just you know stickers and just tons of really cool promotional stuff so luckily I was able to grab this stuff for really really nice prices um, and I was pretty happy with that and I think that's about it um, uh, as far as the turbo front I uh, was able to move a lot of games at SC3 which is kind of cool so I'm down to only a few uh, doubles um, but I still have a few games left so if any of you guys out there are looking for some titles I do have a couple straggler games uh, left and stuff so PM me message me if you guys want to do some trades I still have a few items left for you guys um, other than that that's pretty much it my next video will be popping up maybe within the next couple of days as well it'll be pickups for just other stuff and uh, some uh, highlights from SC3 what I picked up at SC3 uh, some pretty really neat items that I got there as well so um, yeah man so um, hopefully you guys are uh, out there and having a good time, you know, trading and picking stuff up, uh, you know, being one step ahead of the resellers out there. And uh, uh, once again, uh, this is Cybex signing out. Take care, guys. Lates.